It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us, we'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Qatar. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's the Qatar starting 11. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair, and the front two can link up with each other. They should still cause problems today. And now they get the ball rolling. Almoez Ali. Mohamed. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Options in the centre. Nicely timed tackle. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 20. Oh, look out, Derek Charles here. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Ronaldo. Ronaldo lost it. Alhaidos. A real opening now. Oh, he saved it! Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Otavio. Ronaldo. Can he put them in front? Splendid defending. Delivering it. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers.
Joao Felix. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Alhaidos. Ronaldo. Firing it towards goal. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to save her. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So, underway again here. One nil to score. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. And a tidy challenge. Ronaldo, chances on. Oh, that's really high class goalkeeping. But now it grinds to a halt because the flag has been raised. He's showing good defensive judgment. Hassan Alhaidos. And options in the centre. And he takes on the shot. Nicely saved. And given away. Madibo. Plenty of support here. Can he take the chance? Oh dear, oh dear. Opportunity squandered, Stuart. Well, what a chance that was for the equaliser. You don't get too many better than that. Otavio. Bruno Fernandes. Clean challenge. Into the advanced position. Oh, in with a chance! Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. And deciding to go short with this one. Now a decent position. Well, it's been difficult for the Portuguese to get hold of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Yes, a really effective performance all in all. away by Ronaldo not the best challenge free kick and in the event just a talking to but could easily have seen yellow oh could have given them an even healthier advantage well it's a good effort to extend their lead but the game's still in the balance here well, let's see if something comes of this Cristiano Ronaldo, he's in with a chance, and a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now, name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ahmed. Now what can they do from here? From a textbook interception. Ronaldo, he's in here. Oh, magnificent reaction. Akram Afif. Mohamed. Possession one.
for Nansch. Mohamed. Miguel. Oh, no stopping him. France unable to make anything of the cross. And we will have just one additional minute. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. So back with the action here and Portugal very much bossing the game. Will there be a response in the second 45? Bruno Fernandes. Just the challenge that was required. Alhaidos. Giving the ball away. Ronaldo. Ali. Perfect tackle. And he could really get at the opposition. And cleared away over the byline. And a corner kick to come. Corner kicks keep on coming. Delivering it. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. Alhaidos. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. He's beaten his man and unable to hang on to the ball. That's good pressing for you. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Almoez Ali. It did look on for them, but not to be. Dangerous looking attack. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Ahmed. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Cristiano Ronaldo. Good looking sequence. It's got to be! Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. Ronaldo. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Bernardo Silva. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Defenders have come out at the right time. The midfielder completely dominated the game. And the front player's movement has been excellent. Yes, they're having a field day in attack. And here they come again. And the keeper more than equal to it. He's driven in the corner. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Neves. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. 
Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. And a fine tackle. In with a chance. He can't hold on to it. Well, a time for composure on the ball. Ali. And they have possession again. Ronaldo. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose. But they took care of the situation defensively. Afif. A real opening now. Real chance. And a goal to tighten things up. They've thrown themselves a lifeline. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Let's fly here. And it goes! And surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw us away from here. Well, here it is again, and wow, just take a look at this. He's absolutely nailed this one. What a strike that is from distance. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. And so into the final five minutes. This looks promising. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Could cross it in here. Well played in from the flank, but not to any great effect. And he might be through here. today what a performance well let's see this again this is counter-attacking football at its very best and this is Ronaldo at his best he's composed he shows great technique and he just smashes it beyond the keeper well it's been such a one-sided game you just wonder how many more they could add Ahmed. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Ali. Hatem. And the pass not finding its target. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe, now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today.
Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved, best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.